You came. I've come for you, naturally. I've been following your movements closely. Come now, Eros. What is it you really want to ask of me? It's a consequence of my awakening and the resonance it has produced. Ever since you barged into my banquet, I've been having dreams myself. Dreams of long gone nostalgic things. I suppose that from that moment onwards, the slumbering spirit of the goddess within me has gradually begun to stir awake. There's something between us, tying us together. In fact, I find this fact to be quite comforting. because I've awoken to a different extent? Or maybe the frequency of this body and spirit are more attuned to one another. I'm coming to feel as though I'm both Ruth and Aphrodite simultaneously. The two personalities have contaminated each other. I can't distinguish them any longer. Just treat me as the person you wish me to be. Apologize. Just as your memories have been shattered, so I too. I do have an impression of having done something of the sort. It simply doesn't feel real, however. Even if I did, it's as if I weren't myself exactly. I'm sorry. I really don't know how to explain myself. Are you mad? I helped you to escape. Why on earth would I do something so at odds with myself? Not I, I swear it. You ought to know that my intelligence network have had you in their sights this entire time. I've employed everything at my disposal to ensure your safety. Why would I compromise that by trying to hurt you? Although my high status grants me a great deal of power, there are still limits to what can be done. Please understand, there are many things that a person in my position simply cannot interfere with. Furthermore, you say that only I could have the power to summon avatars. However did you reach such a conclusion? From one of your broken, hallucinatory dreams? I thought of something. There is a voice I hear, constantly echoing around my head. It carves a name deep into my soul. A name both terrifying and obscure. Lord of the Abyss. Ring any bells? In any case, I've come to tell you something. I believe you've now collected all the relics there are to acquire. The last one remains in my possession. I'll give it to you myself next time you come to Celia. We'll rendezvous in the underground passageway. There is an altar at the center of the tunnels. I shall be waiting for you there. Like I said, I have my eyes on you wherever you go. Again, I told you already, there are some things that are simply beyond my power. Meet with me again, Eros. Just think of the relic as an excuse to see me one more time. Or am I overdoing it now? 
I know. Too many questions, Theros. But we're out of time. Don't forget our arrangement. I'll be waiting for you at the Relic.